if God is not instructing you to give, it means your life is going to be on one spot for a very long time. Every time Jesus becomes a luggage and a load, check what else has taken his place. Anytime he becomes the toughest and darkest, the next place we go to is prayer. Let me tell you this, favor is not money. You can have money and not have men. Favor is when God provokes men to arise for you. How many of us have been taught in our churches and our different groups that tithe helps you to secure favor with God? Even those who have taught about tithe just preach about it because there are bills that need to be paid and they say you need to pay your tithe. If you don't pay your tithe, you don't pay your tithe and see whether God will bless you. And you see the anger with which the man is preaching and God tells you, please, please. Every church, every ministry, their prosperity is dependent on their own obedience to the principles of the kingdom. My prosperity as a minister of the gospel is not dependent on koinonia people. Ah, that would have been a terrible way to live. I would have been frowning at you every week. What did you drop last week? You know? There are many men of God who are burdens to their congregations. Because they do not realize that their prosperity is tied to their own personal obedience. Can I be sincere with you? Many men of God don't tithe. Hallelujah. Many men of God don't tithe. They teach tithing. Do you know how long it took me as a man of God to be consistent in tithing? I want to be sincere with you. You know I fear God and I honor God. When I saw how difficult it was to tithe with all the fear that I had for God, I said, man, that means many people, somebody is lying somewhere in this equation. It takes the giving grace to come upon your life. One, two, it takes you designing a system to make your tithing efficient. Are you getting my point? You don't tithe just, no, 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 no. The first thing I want you to understand about tithing is that Tithing is not a debt you are paying. Many people come before God with tithe. Help me with one, one of these envelopes. And they, they bring the tithe. Thank you. Don't worry. They bring the tithe and they just stand frowning. Okay, God, please, so you will not harass me. Take. And once they pray, they say it's blessed. The way you just drop this in the offering basket. Your tithe secures favor with God. You want to be on God's side, brothers and sisters not being on god's side is disastrous it's not just about finances there is a spirit called the devourer it is alive and active in the earth hallelujah i must talk about this your tithe is not the payment of a debt because everything we owe belongs to god your tithe is an acknowledgement it's a documentation of your gratitude you're saying, Lord, in obedience to you and for your faithfulness, I bring 10%. Brothers and sisters, hear me. Let me kneel down. Look at me. I'm kneeling down. Snap me so that you'll see it on, on the... Don't, I'm dummy with your phone. I'm pleading with you in the name of the Lord God. If you love God, I beg you in the name of Jesus Christ, be consistent in your time. See, I'm getting down on my knees and I'm begging you. Ah, you've been snapping, no, Joe. <laughs> okay, let me just hands up so that you know that I'm kneeling down. Be faithful. Don't think tithing is a gimmick by a preacher. I can tell you this. Ask the financial department. By the grace of God as a ministry, we do not owe God one naira. I don't care what collection is made for what. The tithe of God before anything happens you really think we're running this ministry from the look you know what you are dropping in the offering basket at least you don't know your neighbors home, but you know your own you can't run ministry with things people are throwing no there is a mystery of divine supply hallelujah praise the lord you must believe this I was sharing some of the testimonies with pastor williams benefits of tithing i remember one time we we're just praying and, and trusting god there were things here and there to, 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 to 
get and all of that and we were just saying oh lord we thank you because we are titus we are faithful till today i was sharing with you pastor till today we do not know the person we just got an alert 1.5 million by an unknown person we do not know into the ministry accounts whereas that's somebody's neighbor somebody who is collecting fifty thousand. how much is his salary that calculate it for more than one year for being faithful in time i think i was talking to the protocol department they went to purchase something in abuja and then i was talking to them the mixer we just got a better mixer very good one and then I, I was talking to them i think it was someone on my birthday pastor someone just right yes and the person just said ah they just paid some money for their family that they were hoping you know 3.4 million naira and the person just said oh well thank god for all the words you are speaking the things you are teaching us and was just sending the tithe and all of that let me tell you when you see what we are doing because i know many of you sit and wonder how do these people really get money yes god is faithful but what is the one plus one of it let me tell you the one plus one of it is what i'm teaching you here the tithe if you are not a faithful tithe that god is not authorized to bless you stop wasting your time in praying and fasting for wealth if you are not a titan i want you to know the devourer will stand and stare at your face if you like put a bible on your head prayer is not the seed for financial breakthrough prayer is the seed for fellowship with the spirit and spiritual awakening and the presence of god and activating the anointing not prosperity your tithe your giving are the seeds for increase many people who want to be blessed will argue this thing and you ask the person how much do you have how much has entered your hand that you are arguing you are saying it's not correct it's a terrible thing when you don't have results and you are still arguing when you pay your tithe you're securing favor with god please and please and please teach this to anyone you love and make up your mind from today your tithe is a tenth portion one tenth of your income that secures open heavens favor with god tithe because it guarantees god's continuous favor in your life oh i don't want to be outside of the favor of god it's dangerous it's a risky position it's like being face to face with the lion imagine how many devils of darkness will want on their own to destroy my life i found a place of refuge i found a way of walking on that and open heavens do you know the wickedness the arrows that fly by day the noisome pestilence do you know how many people want to see your downfall if there is no spiritual way of keeping yourself standing you will fall like a leaf are you getting what i'm saying how many people use all their monies for sickness all their monies for no no open heavens say after me in the name of jesus i make up my mind to be faithful in tithing say it again in the name of jesus see the truth is many of us are not consistent our tithing life is up down up down that's why today it looks like some doors of favor open up and then tomorrow it's not god's fault jc penny many of you have heard about him jc penny one of the multi-billionaires who love god he was tithing and at a point something happened and he said he wanted to experiment with god he stopped tithing that was how his business just knows died like that to a point that he was almost crashing and he said wow and he started tithing and that was how he, he got himself back you better believe what i'm telling you many of our parents do not tithe from their salaries they are collecting 150,000, yet they cannot afford 5,000. You ask them for 5,000, they will almost kill you. 
because a devourer has eaten everything in one day two tires just patch and all the money has gone just when you are coming something happens arrows that fly by day and they now look and they say sorry you need you need this and that you will be spent and all the money goes then the moment the money goes the person gets well by himself the devourer and you are praying and fasting and conducting night vigils and running around your parlor in the night rather than obedience that is better than sacrifice many of us can prefer to run marathon prayers from 11 to 6 to try to solve something that faithfulness in tithing many of our fathers have brought predicaments upon the family because they are not faithful in tithing a solid building a solid structure small rain just comes and washes everything just when they wanted to finish the zinc back to square one there are even those that physical money disappears have you had that story somebody keeps one million he comes back and finds seven hundred and eighty thousand. someone came for counseling i've never had that thing the woman say rats eat her money no serious I'm, I'm not joking i'm not joking at all rats you come in the morning and you see pieces of what sort of devil tithing i think it was either paul and or, or, or bishop david Oyeriko that shared something that some armed robbers came and they were going to i think um destroy a woman or capture one family and the woman shouted she took her tight booklet lifted it up and dropped it on the ground and said god watch the people match this booklet and come and touch me at once confusion came on the people they were afraid and that was how they left brothers and sisters what you do not believe will not work for you oh i believe the word of god i'm that minister of the gospel that believes every word of jesus are you getting blessed Leviticus 27 verse 30. Let's finish up on the issue of tithe very quickly. Leviticus 27 verse 30. Let me show you how the devil has been cheating many of us. Tithe heals you from greed. Everyone let's read. One to read. is the lord's and it is holy unto god so when i take my tithe i say lord i'm documenting my gratitude i honor you i thank you how many of our parents receive some money maybe one money that is spending it just comes in seven million and they just calculate use calculator seven hundred thousand me go and give that man of god I, i'm not stupid abba seven hundred thousand and you see the person arguing and within three weeks he has spent over one million naira on his health and robbers will come and put a gun and say we saw through the jazz that we use that there's seven million in this i say no it's only four no now slap you say truly it's, it's seven where is it he said that's it yeah take it take it and preserve my life whereas the tithe of it are you seeing how many of our family members put us in trouble I say this many of us keep wondering why is my father walking why is my mother walking the truth is that they are all walking they've never been driven from job but not even a house to build the mysteries of the kingdom there is no favor the heavens are closed so many believers operating under close heaven there are many ministries they are so tight no supplies they beg for everything squeeze people put people workers and all of that under every kind of pressure because the man of god is not tithing the people are not tithing the ministry is not tithing dr mike mudok was sharing and he said there was a time the finance of his ministry was going down it was going down so bad and he checked and then he called the finance department he said something is wrong we are not doing something right what is wrong hallelujah and the financial secretary said well sir um for about three months now we've not been paying tight because the bills are enormous and honestly if we are to pay tight you may we may shut you down from tv and all of that and my good said because of that you stop paying the tight that means we are going to crash to zero 
the day we stop paying tithe as a ministry i give you one to two months it will never happen that's why i have the confidence to say it maybe one day you come and you just see no fuel for generator or no chairs ah no as surely as the god of heaven lives we have created a system that does not depend on our personal emotions again is someone learning something is your heavens open pastor is your heaven open over your family there are many people who do not tie they pay school fees 250 naira the, the child brilliant boy is coming back with one dull result zero 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 thirty nine forty one that's the average what is happening all kinds of witchcraft activities flying freely because the heavens are closed are you getting blessed with what i'm saying you want to secure favor with god you must be faithful we are going to pray just in one minute before we continue many of us need to repent because the financial stress in our family is not because of the job it's not it's not because they didn't promote your father i'm telling you the truth if we don't take responsibility we will keep giving it's easy to blame people for our financial predicament are you getting my point it's so easy if that they promoted me i would have been collecting two hundred thousand now instead of 150 my life would have been better so wrong so wrong you collect one million under a closed heaven and you will see the way the devil will make a caricature of your life lift up your voice in one minute and say lord i repent be sincere with yourself some of us need to pray on behalf of our families please be sincere lord i've not been faithful tithing i don't know what it is oh god but i find out that it's so hard i've not had the revelation i'm not yet convinced i think it's a gimmick by a man of god or a ministry i think it's just a gimmick koinonia is trying to squeeze out money from me no go ahead and pray because there are many of us no matter how many miracle services you come i'm telling you the heavens are closed the heavens are closed there is no favor with god that's why the doors that were open before they are not even open again be sincere with yourself there were strange manifestations of favor from god they are not even there again your shop that used to sell nothing is selling again because you think you don't touch for your business now the heavens are closed look at many of our parents you buy a new gadget you bring the machine everything breaks down this is the default our brothers and sisters let's take responsibility tonight and say lord we cry for help the finance of families are finished because of paying for drugs and sicknesses Paying for damaged cars, paying for all kinds of things. Pray and say, Lord, I want your favor. From tonight, I repent. I receive the giving grace to be a delight, some tighter. I realize that this is the key. I don't care who you are, I don't care what you read, I don't care what your level of anointing is. I don't care how hardened your heart is if you want to experience favor with God I'm telling you one of the keys is you must be a consistent tighter you must design a system around your life if there are needs in your life that's the more that's that's the more reason to tie don't say the needs are too much man of God is because you don't know I have so much needs i must do this and that touch your way out of that trouble touch your way out of that trouble eating your tight will only get you deeper i promise you you can apply every business principle you know fail to tight and watch the devourer scatter your life and your family but you'll be faithful towards tightening 
and watch God turn any situation around. It doesn't take time. Commit God into your life. Anything God is involved in must succeed. Many of us, God is not committed in the affairs of our lives. I don't want to know what you are going through now. Fight your way out of it. Secure the favor of the Almighty. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please let me challenge you. Create a system. If you do internet banking, you can have the account details of the ministry or whatever. Or if it is here, you tight the, the, the ministry's account details are available to if you do internet banking, transfer it immediately. Otherwise, buy envelopes. Buy envelopes. I always have a stash of envelopes. Praise God. The treasurer is here. We created a system. I don't even see the tight as it is counted we take it and 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 show it to the appropriate ministry brothers and sisters please listen to me are you not tired of what you have seen your loved ones go through didn't they go to school didn't they get all the degrees look at everything see how helpless people are because they know not neither will they understand and the Bible says they grow up in darkness and the earth is out of course. If God is not instructing you to give, it means your life is going to be on one spot for a very long time. Every time Jesus becomes a luggage and a load, check what else has taken his place. Anytime he becomes the toughest and darkest, the next place we go to is prayer. Let me tell you this, favor is not money. You can have money and not have men favor is when god provokes men to arise for you